Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. Before we jump in, I want to say thank you so much to everyone. I greatly appreciate you. We were at 2,570 subscribers last night when I posted a video on Angel Reese and her atrocity of the game before <laughs> 14, but I have double-double once again. And we are now sitting right now at over 2,760 subscribers. So I say thank you, thank you, thank you. I can give you the exact number. It's actually 2,762 subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We're getting closer to 2,800. Please help us get there. But I am so greatly appreciative of, of, of the support, the comments, the interest. Negative, positive, it's all good. Commenting is commenting, and I will always try to respond as much as I possibly can because I appreciate you. So thank you again. I also want to give a shout out to my guy, Doug Smith, over at Touchdown with Doug Smith. If you haven't seen hey, hey, Touchdown with Doug Smith, it's a podcast with, on NFL football, a lot of um, draft stuff involving interviews of players that you might not have heard of that he tries to give a platform to. He does a lot of great work over there. His graphic work is fabulous. Uh, I'm still trying to get on that level. Like He's really doing some amazing stuff. He's had his podcast now for a few years, does some great work. That, yesterday, we, I was invited to be on his podcast. We discussed Deion Sanders. I will have the link in the bio in the description here. So please check out that podcast. Like, subscribe, follow. Hit up Doug Smith. Touchdown with Doug Smith. Please subscribe to his channel. So thank you again, Doug. Let's just jump right on in this thing, man. There's some more Angel Reese drama. And I didn't know this yesterday when I did my video. I had not done, I didn't realize this. But you know how it is with this generation. Are we on Generation Z now? They take social media likes and follows and all that stuff really really seriously and there are people that sit here and watch who unfollows or follows or who does what on twitter instagram or whatever it's come out that angel reese and kennedy carter have unfollowed each other on in the world of gen, gen z that's big my world couldn't give a shit gen z world that is huge that means we ain't fucking with each other that means we're beefing. That means we don't like each other. There's a problem going on right now. And what happened last night? Kennedy Carter has this non-COVID illness that prevents her from playing the first game back. Once they announced that she wasn't going to play, I pretty much, pretty much, you know, <laughs> figured out that they were going to get drop kicked, which they did. But this all stems. This is a. There's a dislike that has dis developed. In their relationship. Kennedy Carter has a history of having issues with teammates in the past. For whatever reason. But in this situation, the issues are clearly starting to come, come to the surface. They don't... She's having a problem because she's not getting appreciated. Angel Reese gets all the love. Angel Reese gets all the pub. Angel Reese this. Angel Reese that. Angel Reese's double-double streak. The one that was generated and manipulated and padded and and created to help make angel reese look like this fucking savior of women's basketball in chicago she's getting way more love than kennedy carter despite the fact that kennedy carter as i've said for weeks now is the best player on that team and it's not remotely close it's not even close so when this espn list drops and angel reese is ranked 18th best in the WNBA, and kennedy carter is ranked 24th Despite the fact she leads the team in scoring, she leads the team in field goal shooting for percentage. She is 10th in the league in field goal percentage at 51.8%, which is the best of any guard in the league. The second best guard is Kyle Cooper at 16th, and she's shooting 46%. Kennedy Carter is a dominating presence with the ball. Inside 15 feet, she's freaking unstoppable. Great touch around the basket, mid-range deadly. And yet all you get to hear about is how amazing Angel Reese is. Like last night when she had her puffed up double-double down 20 and the reporter, the commentators go, oh my God, another uh, Angel Reese with a double-double. They're down 18 fucking points. And then they make her the player of the game despite the fact that she got mollywopped by Brittany Griner. And Ka Copper had 29. But that 11 and 15 for and 4 or 14 shooting was the player of the game on the, uh, for, for Chicago. Come on, man. Come on now. Like, I understand how pissed off Kennedy Carter is starting to get because it's becoming ab abundantly clear 
that no matter what she does, she's not being appreciated. Whatever's happening in Chicago, I don't really know. They traded Marina Mabry. She wanted out of that toxic environment. But I think it was fairly clear when, um, when Carter against Atlanta would not dump the ball in down to, to, to Reese when she was begging for the ball in the final 10 seconds in a game that they were up seven where she's dribbling the ball out and Reese sprints down. I'm open. I'm open. I want the ball so I can keep my streak going because I need, I need two more points. Blah, blah, blah. And she didn't dump it into her. And then after the game, because Marina Mabry and a bunch of players were screaming at her, get it into her, she dumps it to Mabry backwards, and then Mabry dumps it in. And she says, why well, couldn't have made the pass? You didn't make the pass. You didn't want to make the pass because you know the streak is all contrived bullshit. And you're tired of it. And it was wearing on your team. Because, in fact, your team during that streak was worse than what it was before the streak started. Because it became a focus that we got to make sure that Angel Reese continues to push this puffed up stat padded streak so she didn't dump the ball in and then after in the press conferences we well, yeah, i, I kind of didn't know where i was and, and and i forgot no you knew you knew you knew and you know if you want to make it up now and say that you didn't know nah we knew you knew because you are a basketball player you are a hooper and you know the game is over there's seven it's a seven point game with eight seconds left ten seconds left they're not gar- fouling you game is done dribble the shit out and go home no, that's not what they want. That's not what Reese wanted. And we had to keep on praising Reese. Then it happened again against the Liberty. And it happened again against the Liberty. She'd had it with that streak. That streak was an, was an, an annoyance to these players who care about actually winning. And Andrew Reese will come back and say, yeah, I just want to win. No, you don't. No, you don't. I keep saying she doesn't care about winning. She cares about her numbers. Because last night when she was there down 20 with five minutes left and she wasn't in the game, she gets put back in the game to score to get another double double, for which the commentators go, "But hey, my God, we got another double double, the 18th of the year, yes, sir, we do." Angel Reese for president. Kennedy Carter's had it. Kennedy Carter is done. She's had it, and you can see it. They unfollowed each other. Both of them did it. So there's a beef going on there. There is something going on. We don't know completely yet what's happening behind the scenes. But something is popping off on this in, in this franchise. I don't know what the general manager is doing with this team, trading Mabry for pff, kibbles and bits. I mean, that was a massive downgrade in what they've traded Marina Mabry for. Massive downgrade. And you're a playoff team right now, so why would you make that deal? Mabry requested it just because she requested it doesn't mean you have to make that deal. Made your team worse. At the same time, Let's look at Camila Cardoso, who's seen her season not be remotely close to what Reese is because they've made Reese the focal point. I keep telling you, Reese has no offensive skills. Cardoso is a better post player. She's bigger. She's stronger. She has better touch around the basket. Yet, they focus on getting the ball into Reese. They make Reese the focal point in the post. And she has no game. Cardoso has basically sacrificed her game this season for Reese. Now you could attribute the injury early on this year where she missed a few games and all that stuff, but this is ridiculous. She sacrifices rebounds. She sacrifices points. She sacrifices for Reese. It's like the whole team sacrifices for Angel Reese. Kennedy Carter has a short fuse, man. She's not going to stand for this shit. She's sick of it. She's absolutely sick of it. And, you know, end of the day, she's getting insulted by ESPN and who puts her six slots Below Angel Reese on the top 25. She then puts a post on uh, X where she says, when you're undeniably good, there's nothing they can do to, I don't know what ATP is. Just keep watching. They tried to keep me out, spit on my name, we prevail. The list was bullshit. I said the list was bullshit. Kennedy Carter is one of, one of the five or six best players in the WNBA right now today. She is. She's absolutely dominating with that ball. She's a pit bull. And ESPN continues the narrative to disrespect and diss her. It's so aggravating. You think that Kennedy Carr's not better than freaking Kelsey Plum? Jackie Young? Dude, my list is Asia, Caitlin, Stewart, Arike, Carter. That's my five. That's my five. Carter has shown me something that there's not... That no other player, and Cock Hooper will be six. 
She has shown me something that I have not seen from any player in this league, including Caitlin Clark. That ability to finish around the hoop is undeniably the best in the league by any player, big or little. And the fact that she does it at five foot eight makes it even more impressive. I don't know what's going to happen in Chicago. I don't know if Carter will be there next year. But now who's the question? Here's the question. If there's a real beef going on, whose side do you take? Because while Angel Reese might be the person who grabs the eyes because of who she is, is the goal eyes or winning? The goal is obviously both. You want eyes and you want winning. But who is more responsible for winning on this team? It's Kennedy Carter. And she came off the bench the first six games of the season and yet still is 13th in the league in scoring, averaging 17.2 points per game. She leads them in scoring, leads them in field goal percentage. She is their best player. It's not freaking close. And I got another big. I think the, the other big, the other girl that got Izzy, uh, is it Izzy Harrison, I think is her name. I think she's better than Angel Reese too. Skill-wise, like we got to look, this is a skill game. If Angel Reese could commit to simply being Dennis Rodman right now, she'd be perfect. But because she wants to score and she wants to be an offensive presence so badly, she's missing the forest from the trees. She doesn't understand that what she's doing is costing her team victories. Dennis Rodman understood my job is to defend and to rebound and to drive the other person's best big crazy. If Angel Reese could commit to doing that, she could be really, really good in her role. She will never be a star player because her skill level is never going to get her there. She's never going to be get, become a good shooter. She's never going to become a good post player. She can become an average one in post skills. But when you're at this age already, you should know how you should have some post moves. She has none. Did you see my clip, my video last night? If you haven't, please take a look. That was her in the post getting her shot blocked by guards. Struggling to shoot the ball over six foot five eleven guards. She's 6'3", unable to make fast break layups by herself. This is who she is. So, they have a decision to make because if this doesn't get mended out, one of those ladies is gone, and I don't think it should be freaking Kennedy Carter. Not if Chicago, the Chicago Sky is making the right decision for their franchise to, to win. Because Angel Reese isn't even filling up the damn building in Chicago. She's not Caitlin Clark. She's not drawing the fans like that. She's not. So let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on this Kennedy Carter or Angel Reese seemingly having a beef? What do you think? Who would you choose if you were the GM of the Chicago Sky? Would you choose Angel Reese or would you choose Kennedy Carter? Because I'll tell you right now, if I'm the Indiana Fever, and I have a chance to get Kennedy Carter, I would dump off everyone not named Caitlin Clark and Aaliyah Boston to get her. Because you get her next to Caitlin Clark, oh boy, that will be some serious shit. Let me know. Thoughts, comments, like, subscribe, follow, ring that bell. I appreciate you guys. Seriously. Come on now.